couple of other tips show you how to get started with using Spotlight on your Mac, showing you how to tune up Spotlight and how to do a simple search. This tip shows you how to do some more complex searches. One thing we might do is search this Mac for any file whose name contains demo. So far, so good. But there are quite a few results there, 78, and in fact I know that I'm looking for a folder. So what you can do is click the plus button beside the word save on that search toolbar there. And now you can choose something from the pop-up here. And I'm going to choose kind, and I'm going to choose folder. And lo and behold, that's now whittled that list of 78 down to 8, and here's the one I want. But I can do even more. I'm going to delete that search by clicking the X beside the uh, text entry bar. And I'm just going to put a letter E in there just to actually bring up the search bar. Uh, again, I'm going to call up the extra parameters for my search by clicking the plus button beside save. And now what I want to do is instead of the name, I actually want to look for something else. Obviously I could choose one of these things like kind or file name or file extension, but in fact you can come here and choose other. Once you choose other, a new window comes up listing dozens of possibilities. Now various programs that you install will add to this list, so what you have depends on what you have installed. But I'm going to find duration, duration of this item in seconds, and this applies to things like movie files. Now over here on the right is a checkbox for in the menu. If I'm often going to want to search by duration, I could check that box and it will add it to the menu that we saw before. But I'm not going to do that now, I'm just going to select duration and click OK. This now brings up the duration criteria. What I want is files that have a duration of more than three minutes. And here we are. This has now found me 595 items. And most of these are MP3s in my iTunes folder. Notice that I have them sorted by date created down here at the bottom I have a few things that um, I pulled into iTunes yesterday. Now what I don't have here actually is all the files in my movies folder. I haven't quite tracked down why that is. I expect there to be quite a few files in there, but just so that you know, they aren't there. One of the other things you can do if you have complex searches is to add further criteria by clicking the plus button and, oh, as you can see, I accidentally clicked too many times, clicked the minus button to take them away again. And so I could search for files whose duration is greater than three minutes, but whose uh, last opened date is within the last two days, for example. And here I have two items. To take them away again, click the minus button. So have some fun with searching with complex searches. Be careful, though. The more complex that your search, the less likely you are to find anything. But have fun and remember to go back and check the tip itself at mactips.info.